I can't believe it. It's finally here. The very last week of Emoji Madness. And I think we should all do a real life emoji on the count of three. Let's make the saddest face possible. <laughs> so, one, two, three. Wow, you guys are looking pretty sad right now, but cheer up, don't worry. It's not over yet. We are going to explore more from the Book of Psalms today. Before we discover today's emotion though, I have a fun fact for you. Did you know that the Book of Psalms is the most popular book in the Bible? Whoa. Yeah, more people read from the Book of Psalms than any other book in the Bible. And it's not just popular today. Even Jesus loved the book of Psalms. In fact, in the New Testament, Jesus talked about the book of Psalms 11 different times. And that's more than he mentioned any other book in the Bible. And as you know, the Psalms are filled with all kinds of emotions. Mm -hmm. You have happy and sad and scared or mad. And the book of Psalms has them all. Are you ready to see which emotion we're gonna talk about today? Okay, drum roll, please. This week, we are gonna be looking at peace. <gasps> now, let me see you make the most chill face ever hold up a peace sign and say, peace dude. Peace dude. Nice job. Being a peacemaker can be tough. And when other people mess up or make you mad, it's easy to want to take revenge. Like, you know, hitting you in the head with darts or something. Yeah. But our psalm for today says that, he, that we should pursue peace instead. So let's take a look at that. Open your Bibles to Psalm 34, verse 14. Turn away from evil and do good. Look for peace and go after it. Let's look deeper into Psalms by taking a look at another book of the Bible, Matthew in the New Testament. Okay, so in Matthew 18, Jesus tells a story about a shepherd. And he said, imagine there's a good shepherd who has 100 sheep. And one day the shepherd is sad to learn that one of his sheep has wandered away. Mm. Even though he has 99 other sheep, he leaves them behind to go look for that one lost sheep. And when he finds it, he's happier about that one sheep than he is about the 99 that didn't get lost. Now, when Jesus told that story, he wasn't really talking about sheep. He was talking about us. You see, Jesus is like the good shepherd in the story, and we're like the sheep. Sometimes we wander away from doing the right thing, and sometimes we get lost in sin. But Jesus doesn't want us to stay lost in sin. He wants us to find us, and he wants to bring us back into his family. So after he told the story about the sheep, he gave instructions on what to do when people mess up or when they make you mad. Hmm. Hmm. Riley's gonna show you exactly what we're talking about. So imagine that you're hanging out with your friend from church one day and you just got a new cat, so you can't wait to show it to him. But when you show it to him, he scares the cat on purpose. And he says that cats are dumb and you're dumb for having one. Then he says that playing at your house is boring and it's putting him to sleep. Oh my goodness. At first, yeah, you're shocked. Yeah. You can't believe your friend would say something so rude and hurtful. Mm -hmm. But then you start to get mad and you start to think about all of the rude and hurtful things you could say back. Yeah. At first, it seems like it would feel good to get revenge, but that's not what Jesus wants us to do. Instead, this is what he says in Matthew 18. Open your Bibles to Matthew 18, verses 15 to 17. If your brother or sister sins against you, go to them, tell them what they did wrong, and keep it between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them back. But what if they don't listen to you? Then take one or two others with you, Scripture says, every matter must be proved by the words of two or three witnesses. But what if they also refuse to li listen? Then you tell the church. And if they refuse to listen even to the church and they don't treat them as a brother or sister, treat them as you would treat an ungodly person or a tax collector. Fortunately for you, when you follow Jesus' instructions, your friend feels sorry and apologizes to you. And instead of going to war with your friend, you make peace with them. And best of all, you help him find his way out of the darkness of sin and back to the family of God, just like the shepherd did with the lost sheep. Maybe you 
you've never had someone scare your cat or tell you that you were dumb for having one. But we have all had people say or do mean things to us. And when that happens, it's really easy for us to get more and more and more and more angry until you just never want to talk to them again and you want them out of your life. But that's not what God wants us to do. When someone sins against you, Jesus doesn't want you to push them away. He wants you to pursue them like the shepherd did with the lost sheep. And guess what? In Matthew 18, Jesus tells us exactly how to do that. First, Jesus says to tell the person what they did wrong in private. Did you notice something? Jesus says to tell them, not to yell at them. <laughs> and when you talk to that person, don't do it out of anger. Do it because you love them and you want to see them live God's way. And do it in private. Just talk to the person who hurt you. Don't gossip. Don't tell everyone what a terrible thing that they did. Second, if the person won't listen to you, Jesus says to take one or two other people with you. Talk to your parents or to your teacher or to another adult that you trust. Without being mean, tell them what happened and ask them to talk to the person with you. Yeah. And third, if the person still won't listen, talk to your leaders at your church. If the person goes to church with you, the leaders can talk to them too. You can look at the Bible together and see what God has to say about the situation. And if the person doesn't go to church with you, your leaders can pray with you and help you figure out what God wants you to do. If you follow these instructions from Jesus, you will be a true peacemaker. You'll be doing exactly what our Psalm for today says to do. Let's take a look at it again. In Psalm 34, verse 14, turn away from evil and do good. Look for peace and go after it. When someone hurts us, it's easy to want revenge or to push them away. Mm -hmm. But this Psalm says to turn away from evil things like that. It says to do good, to look for a peaceful way to solve our problems and to go after it. Mm -hmm. And here's the really good news. This is exactly what Jesus does with us. We sin against him all the time, but instead of getting revenge or pushing us away, he comes looking for us like the good shepherd. Then his spirit whispers in our heart and tells us what we did wrong. And when we come back to him, he forgives us and rejoices that the lost sheep has been found. Let's pray now about being peacemakers. Father, we thank you so much that you have laid out the rules for us to help us to deal with situations where people aren't nice to us. Father, help us to follow these instructions and, instructions and to be true peacemakers like you have laid out in your word. Father, we thank you for your guidance. In your name, amen. So be sure to do your lesson for number four. And next week, we start a new series, Wonder World. So stay tuned and we will see you next week. See you guys. Bye.